What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do a little bit of more speculation on the PlayStation 4K, PlayStation Neo. There's a lot of rumors going on about what this thing can be, if it's going to compete with the Xbox Scorpio, if the Xbox Scorpio is really the Xbox 2. Nobody knows. There's lots and lots of information flying around the internet. And of course it's all interesting to those who are interested in this PlayStation 4 upgrade. So one of the latest little bits of information that I got is pretty interesting. I want to drop a link below so make sure you click on it. Sony PlayStation 4 Neo GPU could take on the AMD Polaris 11 Radeon RX 480 card and specs. Holy shit! That is a lot to say. That is a hell of a graphics card. And if the PlayStation 4K can keep up with that, it's going to be interesting to say the least. Sony is expected to finally announce the PlayStation 4 Neo at an upcoming E3 2016 event, and the upgraded GPU inside the console is rumored to be as powerful as the AMD Radeon RX 480. AMD has recently unveiled their new Polaris 11 GPU with the RX 480, and the PlayStation 4 Neo GPU is said to match it in power. The feat does sound possible considering that the company does make the chipsets for the PlayStation 4 consoles. Basically, all the earlier reports have shown us that the upgraded console would be able to dish out a constant 60 frames per second frame rate at resolutions of up to 4K. Even the PC gaming industry has not yet reached that level of power with the Nvidia GTX 1080 coming close. The AMD Polaris 11 Radon RX 480 is said to be a point for point match for the PlayStation 4 Neo GPU in terms of specs and teraflops. Digital Foundry reported this. Sony could be using the same, and forgive me if I flop this, 14nm FinFET chip manufacturing process used in the new graphics cards. With that raw power, the new upgraded console could finally match PC gaming. However, the new cards from Nvidia may have pushed the PC gamers further to the top. There are also reports that the PlayStation 4 Neo would also be able to support the PlayStation VR headset. It can even run better because of its more powerful GPU or APU. The new upgraded console is more or less confirmed with all the rumors, speculation, and leaked information spreading throughout the internet. One French video game distributor even slipped and might have given away the release date of the console, which is by October or even September of 2016 at the earliest. The PlayStation 4 and Xbox One have been around for several years now without any form of upgrade. Launching a next-gen console would be the best bet, but their life cycle is still not over. Sony could finally reveal and clarify all the details regarding their PlayStation 4 Neo at this year's upcoming E3 2016 presentation. The specs could confirm whether it's as powerful as the AMD Radon RX 480 powered by the Polaris architecture. This uh, is interesting man, I'm not a, a real hardcore PC gamer, but I know that Polaris 11 uh, Radon RX 480 is a super incredibly powerful GPU. Uh, and, and if that's the case, the PlayStation 4K is going to be the new shit. Do I believe this uh, article? Uh, it seems a little unreasonable to think that they're going to put a chip that is comparable to something like this in a PS4 and sell it for $400. That chipset will probably sell for around that price by itself. So uh, I'm interested to see what Sony has, uh, you know, cooking. If this is a custom chip, which it probably is, it may be able to do something similar but not for a $400 price point. I think the price point is definitely going to be a factor when it comes to these new chips. I got a few bucks to spend. My money is probably going to go towards the PlayStation VR first and foremost. Anything else is going to be optional. I really don't need to, to upgrade unless they sell me on something. They got to really sell these new upgraded custom consoles because if they don't, they're going to sit on the shelves and people are going to probably buy the cheaper versions. Xbox has got to release something that's slim, attractive, more powerful, more space uh, to get people to buy it. PlayStation has got to show us what games work better on the PlayStation 4K and what we can expect out of that compared to what we see now. If it's a drastic difference, yeah, I'll probably buy one on release date. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Leave those comments because I will get back with you in those comments. Be sure to give a thumbs up. Show support for my channel. I count them thumbs. One, two, three, baby. Yo, yo, yo. And definitely subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. Become a member of this society. We're going to be a secret society one day. We're going to live on our own private island. And it's we're going to build a wall around it of uh, PlayStation 4s. And uh, if they keep fucking with us, the wall's to get 10 feet higher. I'm the Beastly Gamer. I'll see you guys next time.
Come on.